Staying on top of breaking news that will impact your morning commute, several miles of 95 shut down in both directions in what state leaders are calling a catastrophe. An overpass in northeast Philly collapsed. A tanker truck catching fire right underneath it. Pennsylvania's governor says this could take months to fix. So the question tonight is how did this happen? Joining us is Dr. Amir Farnham, a civil engineering professor at Drexel. Dr. Farnham, the governor saying that engineers and PennDOT need to complete a review first before the real work can begin here. What will they be looking for specifically and how long does an assessment like this normally take? Uh, so um, thank you very much for the for having me on this call. Um, uh, normally, what they do, they uh, kind of like they take few samples from the field and they try to make sure that like they understand what was the major cause of the damage mm -hmm. in the in the bridge, and based off that, they could come up with some like designing approach to uh, rebuild the bridge. So I think that uh, this is going to be like some sort of like extensive investigation. That's going to take a few weeks um, to determine what was the source of the damage in the bridge. And based on that, they're going to move forward. Well, Dr. Farnham, you know, when you talk about giant steel beams and extreme heat and those steel beams mm -hmm. giving way, you can't help but to think of 9-11. Um, right. Was that what your thought was as well? Yeah, so like um, in this case, uh, the fire like uh, went on for a few hours. And because uh, based on the photos that I've seen online and also like some videos that I've watched, uh, the, the bridge seems to be a steel bridge with steel girders and with uh, like a reinforced concrete like bridge deck. So in this case, when the temperature rises to like a high temperature, like 500 degrees Celsius, the structural capacity decreases substantially. Here we're talking about like 50% reduction in strength. So, um, and you mentioned like 9-11 incident. In that case, the same thing happened. And uh, because of the, the heat from the fire, the structural uh, scaffold or the structural uh, columns and beam, beams couldn't hold the entire building together and the building collapsed. I think that the same thing happens here because of the extreme heat, mm. um, the steel loses its strength. And because of that loss, we, we, we lose the structural capacity and then hence the collapse. Mm. You've yes. Sa you've said that outdoor structures like this, the highway, the overpass mm -hmm. are not designed for fire. And this stretch of 95 was just completed about six years ago. Why mm -hmm. is that? Why are they not built to sustain fires? Right, so like in highway uh, structures like bridges or like, like roads, we don't expect this this types of incidents and uh, if any fire happens normally it happens like outdoor and the heat like comes uh, uh, comes to the air um, but in this case the the fire uh, the fire happened under the bridge and because the the truck was full of some sort of petroleum product and that could create enormous amount of heat under the bridge so in half an hour or even like in few hours the heat could reach to some sort of like a high level like 500 600 degrees celsius and that is enough to result in this type of failure and collapse and clearly this was uh, extreme heat i mean just looking at that smoke and yeah. the fire this was yeah. uh, intense dr amir farnham thank you for joining us and we'll see you tomorrow on good day philadelphia thank you oh thank you very much for having me have a great day